Hey y'all, welcome to the video. It's Squawfster AK. We are here for episode 2, day 2 of the Tah Tahitian County series. Haha, -ha, I got it right. Hunter, you awake yeah. in there? Yeah. Alright, hey, let's get, come here and get I some can't coffee. I can't see anything in here. Hey, it's, it's a little dark. It's Sorry, we gotta get up early though. Dealer's like an hour away. Yeah. Hey, don't try to flip that light back on. I don't need no flashlight to get in here. Get some coffee. And we'll walk out the door. So, yeah, we have decided yesterday, if you, missed, if you missed yesterday's episode, which is last episode, uh, go check it out. Because at the moment, we are heading to the dealer to buy some equipment. Now, we've already bought some equipment and had it ordered down there. Now, we might be missing a few things. We don't know what we're missing yet. Because we kind of just said, hey, you got this, 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 and we bought it off. So we spent one million dollars. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna hop in the Peter here that has the hood light as possible. Man, see, now y'all get to see the hood light. See, look at this thing. Look at that cleanest thing, y'all. Oh, Hunter, what truck are you taking? 350. And 350? Then... Oh, you wanna hook yeah. it to the gooseneck? Yeah, I can't. I can't see anything. A little, a little dark. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start going down the road. So I, I have gears to shift. So I'm gonna start heading down the road. So yeah, we're not gonna make our way. It's about an hour drive. So uh, we're gonna see if we can cut that time down any. If not, we'll see you at 7:30. Alrighty, y'all, so once we cross the train tracks here, we're gonna make the first left, and it'll put us at the dealer. Uh, it's about, it's about an hour drive, y'all. But, uh, we, uh, stopped for the breakfast. We got some food in town. So that's why it's a little later than we thought. I mean, we shouldn't have stopped, but we gotta eat. You still back there, Hunter? Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, I'm gonna go and pull in here and get some paperwork filled out, because we got some... Well, you think we should look at the equipment first, Hunter? I'm pulling straight to the back. You think we should look at the equipment first before I go get some money to him? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Alrighty, y'all. So, we know what we bought. we seen the pictures and everything. We know what it is, at least. Alright, y'all. So, starting off, we have this uh, Dakota trailer. Is a Dakota trailer. as has uh, hops in the bottom. It looks like it's split up, so we can haul two do different crops if we want to which is actually pretty nice to do oh it's got a hitch on the back too can use that later on right here y'all we have a John Deere uh, uh, 2410 here it is a plow but we're going to use a cultivator also uh, this one is not ours the JNNAR, JMNARs this is the planter y'all seen this back in uh, Bucks, the Bucks County series we had and it's a great planter that's why we decided to go with it again uh, this is not our John Deere. Uh, we got the... It's a little blurry. Hunter, can you tell me what it is? Cause my Parker. Parker is a 65... 6500, y'all. That's gonna be our Argo, uh, Argo wagon we got to go get the crops and put them in the semi. Because we are not taking the semi in the field. We say that now, but it's gonna happen. You will. Right. Uh, these two are not ours. We do need. We are looking for a skid steer, but they did not have what we wanted. We didn't want one with uh, tracks because it's just gonna tear up the field too much. We'd rather get one with wheels. Right here, y'all. We have our the 560M baler. Y'all seen us use this multiple times in previous series. We have the tether that happens in every series because there's no better tether than that one. Uh, right here, we have the windrow. We decided to go with a coon windrow here. We've never done this type of windrow. We've always gone with the one. We decided to change it up, give a give some uh, brand change up in there. Uh, we have bought two tractors. For the first one, it's going to be the 8510, right? Because this thing's blurred out for me. It is. No, this is the 8410. This is the 8410, y'all. Uh, this is going to be like our main tractor, I guess. It's going to be like my tractor because Hunter has his 40, 4955, and this one's going to be the 8520, y'all. So this is going to be the big boy that probably does all the plowing and planting. Uh, them two things are not ours, they just have them on the lot. But uh, this whole line over here is ours. So we had decided to go with a 98, 9860 STS 
SCS Combine John Deere because we have had one of these in one of the previous series. We've decided to go with a lot of things we had in the previous series. Just cause, good idea. Uh, for the header we got, we have a 635 FD. It is a 10 to 12 meter. I'm not sure the exact size. I'll have to talk to him when we get inside. And we have a... What was this? A 12 It looks or? like a 12 row header. A header? Uh, what about the draper? What about the, uh, the, uh, coin header? The draper, um... That looks like a 12 meter header 12 meter. to me. Alright. So they both That's what it looks like. And that is all we bought, which is, it's cost us $1 million for everything. It d doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot. Go we'll guess the keys so we can load. Ooh. Hunter. Yeah, I know. Don't talk about it. Look at this thing. Don't Ooh. talk about it. We don't have the money. Dude, it's got, dude, admit, it's got racing on the wheels. Dude, look, it says racing on the wheels. Oh, I'm so talking about this one going there. Look, it says racing. You can't tell me no now, Hunter. Look, it's it no. It says racing on the wheels right there. I know. Dude, we're gonna have a hundred ninety-five thousand dollars left. I don't know. Well, how much do these go for? I'm gonna say at least eighty thousand. Hey. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna go fill some paperwork out real quick, Hunter. Can you hook up? Can you go ahead and uh, hook up the low boy and uh, go ahead and load whatever you're gonna load up on your trailer first, I guess, so you can uh, do what you. I'll do my trailer first, so it'd be out of the way. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go get some paperwork filled out and talk about that Freightliner. See if I can get a deal on that thing. All righty, y'all. So we have gave them the one million dollars, and we have. Gave him an extra seventy-five thousand dollars, y'all. It's been about thirty minutes. Up. You guys got the first one loaded up. Hey, Hunter. How's it going? Good. Good. Okay. Um, I got some better news. What? I got the truck for five grand cheaper. Seventy-five. Oh. She's ours. What about trailer? Uh, trailer's definitely not ours. Trailer didn't seem that important. Chuck seemed more important to me. Oh, she's down. Oh, she's not pretty good. Oh. Uh, Do we yeah. want to use their trailer for now? To haul stuff back. It's probably best to, but probably not. We'll probably just use our trailer. We'll hook our semi up to the low boy, because they already said they're going to use their truck. Well, they're supposed we'll to just, have two trucks now since we bought one. So, uh, we'll Hunter, just leave that truck. We'll unhook it. Leave it here for now. Leave it here for now. And I'll just ride with yeah. you back. Unless we hook it to that uh the Parker wagon over there. Parker wagon. Uh, yeah, just look up to the parking wagon. We'll come because and back and drive back. It's pretty stout, yeah, so. That works. Um, so what do we got to load up? Because they did say we have the low. We oh lord, we're looking at the sky. So the low boy we rented out, y'all. So we're gonna put the combine hey, on look. the low boy. Pretty perfect. <laughs> so uh, Hunter, can you go get the Peter bit real quick? And Where's they did Peter say to load up this dike, this Demco trailer here, which I don't know. What Put on it. I'm taking the. I will come back for the baler. Can we fit the baler on any of these trailers that's sitting here? No. No. Okay, so we gotta come back for the baler, but we can fit the windrow. And that's probably it. So we probably don't want to even ask them to haul anything, really. No, Make that it. just more money out of our pocket. Yeah. So, all right, so get the Peterbilt. I'll go ahead and get the combine uh, started up over here because I do get all the keys. And, uh, did you leave your door open or something? On what? On your truck, you're causing a traffic jam over there. Uh, no telling. No telling? Oh, okay. God. They just don't know how to drive. They don't know how to drive. I feel you. Um, yeah, just go ahead and pull out and back up and 
that thing. Fold it. Oh, hey, not through the cold right now. Um, I barely bumped it. Hey, let me go ahead and get the fold side of that real quick. You want to go and open the cover? Okay, get my sword out. Uh, open cover. Open. Yep. Do it again. It go up. Go to the, uh, it should be in there. It should be the up one in there. The up. Top one. Yeah, you I did. Do it real quick. I got it. I got it. I'll get out real quick. Hang on. Oh, you got it. Now hit the button again, whatever you just hit. I was on the wrong thing. Okay. I'm gonna get back in the combine and load up. Um, I think it's the best way to put it on backwards. What do you think? Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, Hunter, I am gonna have to take a different way than you because I just looked at the route. This thing is higher than 13.1. That bridge is 13.1. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to take a different route than you. Okay. Unless you want to take that route too, because it's. It's really this. No, it's a little bit far. No, nah, it might be the same. I'll let you go. I'll go to the original. Can I hook up? You yeah, want to do the latches? Yeah, I'm already doing it. Be good. Alright, so we got this truck loaded up. Um, is there, was there happen to be a hitch on the back of this low boy? No. No, nothing. Oh my god, we're good looking up. Oh there, my god. Up. What? What are you oh my god about? Look at the traffic. God, Lee! Honey, you might want to get on the road. Oh, my, yeah, truck, we'll my truck wasn't even in the road and it was blocking me. Is that, is that stupid? Yeah. Thank you. Godly. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Come on. Don't sit there. Get off your phone. Come on. Let's go. We ain't got all day here. Are you going left? Yeah, I gotta go left. I don't see any bridges on this route. I don't know how long ago the tape was updated. Oh, then I'm getting caught by the train. Wow. So let's see how long this train is actually off. So it is 610 o'clock. Let's see. We're at five seconds. Oh, I'm stopped at the train too. <laughs> We're at 10 seconds. We're at 15 seconds. It's still going on this end. 20 seconds. Oh, it's past. 25 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, so the train takes about 40 seconds to get past him. So he's going at a steely speed. Which is actually a few minutes, but for y'all, it's actually 40, 40 seconds. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get down the road, and we'll catch you when we're pulling up to the farm, and uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Y'all, I am starting to hate this train. I got to wait for it again. Again. Ain't no way I gotta wait for this train again. This train looks even longer. Oh my god, y'all. Oh, we're like one dirt right away. So we had to take the route. So I'll show you already. Oh, I can't actually. But I, we had to take uh, by 50, 156 up there by the shop. 141. And then we had to take that road, dirt road all the way down. We're at right now. Yep, there's a guy. Ooh. That's a problem. Now we're gonna have to try and slide it across. Um, any way to lift it up or anything? Um, that's a problem, y'all. Oh, there's Hunter. Uh, we are gonna have to try and uh, get over this thing, y'all. All right, y'all. So we are getting to the farm at the moment. And thank God we did not have a problem with that one. You see the first, the uh, first part. We had to wait for the train again, and we had a problem getting over the first one. We are good to go now. I don't think we're going to have that big of tall loads anymore, so we should be able to take the regular route. But it's taken me about two hours. I had to go an hour out of the way. Y'all. So let's go ahead and pull in here. Best hunter truck, y'all. Good 
gonna drop it right here, y'all. And we're just gonna pull the combine in the grass now, because I'm trying to get everything here today. That's what I'm trying to do for day two. We might end up having to use a little bit of day three to get everything. And I have to take all the scraps off this so it's not gonna be a unless I use the semi, y'all. This farm system has that option, but this is not farm system. This is IRL here. I know what I mean. Let's go ahead and hop in the combine here. Driver off here. Uh, Huntress is going to get one of the, either the Baylor or the, uh, one of the header trailers. I'm not sure what he's going to get. He was in his Denali when he passed. I'm not sure if that will make its way to the video, but if it did, y'all seen it? Alright, so let's go ahead and hook up, and we're going to pull out of here. At least we found out the low boy's a little low. Um, I don't know if I clarify this, but the low boy we did not buy, y'all. We are just leasing it from the dealership. Because they do have a thing when you buy a lot of equipment, they do give you the option to lease one. Or if you just buy any equipment from there at all, they give you the option to lease it. And that's the way we did it. Because we had a lot of equipment to remove. And, um... Well, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make our hour trip back to the uh, shop, and we might pass Hunter on the way back. Technically, we should. I think like 20 minutes ahead of us. So we'll catch y'all here in a second. All right, also we're gonna go ahead and unhook the low boy here. I'm gonna pull the truck out of the way for now. I'm gonna hop in our brand new truck, and we're gonna back this on first. Yeah, probably back in the middle first bit right out of the Uh, Hunter, just, you, this gravity wagon doesn't sit higher than the combine, does it? Mmm, you're gonna have to take the back route. Am I really? Yep. Does it sit higher than the combine? You're gonna hit, more than likely, you're gonna hit. I wouldn't risk it. Don't risk it? Nope. I got a feeling you will hit. Uh, I'll take the two hour route, I guess. Actually, we're gonna time it this time. I didn't time it the first time. I just kinda took it wild, I guess. Go ahead and drop the Parker right there. Are you grabbing the Baylor and the Parker? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing as we speak. Like, I'm hooking up to the Baylor like, right now. Uh, we ain't got much more. If you, uh, you gotta come back and get the header trailer. And then we have a plow we have to take by road. So the 80, is this the 85? Yeah, it's 85. Well, is this, what is this? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 8520. Yeah, it's 8520, okay. Uh, the 8520, so one of us will have to ride with each other on the way back. So once you get the corn header, uh, just kind of wait for me back at the farm, I guess. If I... You'll be back before me. I got two hours. I can't play two hours. My so I know that day is a little bit longer video, y'all, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta get done because there's a lot of equipment to do. We're basically building a whole farm, basically. Hunter, I think we're gonna clear. I'm gonna risk it. You hear me, Hunter? Hunter, that, that, that loser? Yeah. No, I can hear you now. I thought, thought you went in that back, oh, you must go in that back spot, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, I'm gonna risk it. If I have to, I can lower the bag. Alrighty, try it. Hey, we won't know if we don't try it. Exactly. We know the, we know the combine won't fit, we know the combine's too tall. I feel like if it didn't have the uh, extended uh, auger in the top, we might have make it. We might make it, but we might have to lower the airbags. Not sure. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get down the road with these two things. Uh, we do have a tractor in the house, y'all, and uh, we'll catch you whenever uh, we pass Hunter again, which I don't think we are, because according to the GPS tracker, we shouldn't. Although we should pass. Right as we get to the, uh, like somewhere. We should pass him somewhere because he's a little bit ahead of us. Well, we 
Well, we'll catch you at the bridge, which is actually right down the road. But, yeah, we'll catch you at the bridge, y'all. Alrighty, y'all. So we are coming up on the said bridge that we might not make it on. We are going to find out. 13 1 is the bridge height. Oh, Hunter, we got like 2 feet, 3 feet, maybe 5 feet. Okay, I didn't know. Oh, we're good. And the probably this is the tallest that we got. Alright, y'all, that, that nervous thing is out of the way now. I was pretty nervous about that, us not fitting. Because us not fitting under that would cause us to have to backtrack. Because this is about midway, this is 30 minutes old. Backtrack is 30 minutes, and it's definitely at least an hour and 30 to the way. So, uh, y'all, we'll catch you, uh, mm. when we pass Hunter, or when we, or when we arrive at the farm, so I don't know what he's doing. Alright, y'all, so right now it is 2.30, and we are rolling back up to, to the farm here for our second load of the day. Hunter's got two loads here already. He might have more time than I do, actually. He might catch up to me, and if he catches up to me, Uh, we're gonna have to use his tractor because I do not want to unload that, that truck at the moment, y'all. Oh, we gotta take the straps off. There we go. So we go ahead and pull forward here, y'all. And I still got my key that he doesn't know about for his tractor. <laughs> Going to open the door. Get the 40, get the 4955 fired up here, y'all. Uh, we'll do some organization later on. I just, actually, we can actually put the Baylor where it's gonna go, because Baylor's gonna go right there, actually. Um, I'm not sure what we got planned for day three, y'all, because we haven't really took any look at the fields. So we might take a look at them tonight, maybe, because it's definitely gonna be a long day. Ooh, a little tight there. There we go. Pack it in like right there. There we go. We're going to go ahead and get the parker off now. I'm not sure where the parker is going to go. We're going to try and put it in that fifth bay over there. I think this is, yeah, this is the sixth bay. I don't know if it'll fit in here. Actually, I'd rather in the sixth bay if I can. We just got to clean up. It's going to get a little scratched up. Actually, I'd rather get them bushes out first before. Uh, let me go ahead and get that off there. Bottom left there, y'all. There we go. I'd rather actually put it in this one so it doesn't scratch up because this thing is brand new. Sweet, it fits in there. Well, that's where it'll be hanging out. Hey, Hunter, where you at, bud? Um, fixing to be at the bridge. At the bridge? Yeah. Alright, um. I'm just gonna ride with you back. Okay. Oh, you might have to take my Dodge out because your, your truck's pretty full of uh, moving stuff, isn't it? I can uh, unhook trailer or this or. Uh, whatever you want. If you want to take the Dodge, you can. Or if you want to take the 350, you can. That's up to you. When am I pulling back? Uh. I don't know what there is to pull back, really. You think you can pull back a plow with your F-350? Or do you think it's pushing the limits? If I take it slow, I think I can handle it. Then you can handle it? Yeah. That's probably what we need to do then. Or you ride... Or you can just ride with me back. Like, ride with me to the uh, shop. You take the Peterbilt back and I'll take the Freightliner back with the uh, trailer. But we still gotta bring the Freightliner back at some point. He'll get to the freaking uh, plow. Okay, we can do that. I'll hook that to the plow, and I don't think we need the low boy for anything else. Because we can so we gotta make the tractor back. So I can one of us might as well drive. We, one of us. Oh, you just pulled up, didn't you? No, not yet. Oh, I thought it hurt. 
So one uh, of us, we might as well take a pickup then. Let no, here's you what, drive. So here's what I mean. We still gotta get our our tipper. We still gotta get the uh, tipper. So I say, you ride with me in the Peterbilt. You bring back the Peterbilt with the tipper. I'll bring back the freight line with the flat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about the tipper. Yeah, the tipper's gotta come back anyway. What and about the planner? That's gotta be. I don't think they'll fit in the low boy. That's gotta come back by no. itself. So. Uh, it's gonna uh, have to be hauled by a tractor. Yeah, so the 8520 is there still, unless you load that, unless you load that up, which I don't think you do. Mm -hmm. The trailer's here. But then I'll, I'll wait for you, and uh, y'all will catch you when we are flying back into the shop. Because, uh, there's no point of roads for going down the road, so we'll catch you here in a second. All right, y'all. So we are just now pulling back up into the shop here. We are gonna return the low boy, and this is gonna be our last load of the day. I'm gonna have to do some more tomorrow, which is the same episode for y'all. Just oh, what he learned. That if that tractor wasn't there, we could make it. Wait, huh? Why didn't you tell me we could just pull in from the back? Oh. Did you want to watch me struggle or something? Yeah. You did. Of course you did. Oh, look at this. We can pull it straight in from the back. You didn't want to tell me that. No. Going back or back in. Alright. Truck's all yours. Um, actually, before we leave, we gotta figure out what we gotta come back and get. So, we got the 8520 to come get. We got the wind road to come get. Uh, the wind road can be hauled on the gooseneck. Can be yes, that's right. Um, we got the planter, so the planter has to go back by road, and the plow's going back right now. The tipper's going back. Uh, I say when we come back, to, let's actually let's load up everything and drive. You know, talk and drive. I say what happened is I ride with you in three fifty, and uh, we'll load the eighty five twenty up. We'll put the 8520 hook up to the windrow, back the windrow on, and I'll hook it up to the wrong plow. We'll back it on there, and then I will drive the 8520 home with the windrow. I'm fixing to drive through their building and leave I, all kind of black smoke. i seen that. I think that's a good plan, because we're taking the plow, you're taking the tip, but we got two pieces, we got three pieces of equipment left here. I don't think there's anything else. Anything else? No. I don't think they would have been too happy about all the soot in their building. They would have been pretty angry, I think. But we did just give them one point, well, uh, one hundred, one million and seventy-five thousand dollars. Hey, this thing drives pretty good. It looks like oh. it's pulling it pretty good. It, it, it's pretty fast. I'm going about seventy, and this is no struggle. Ooh, steering works. Oh, train. Let me guess, you got stuck behind that train, didn't you? No! No. I'm looking back. Oh, wow, well, you made it. Alright, y'all, uh, so we are on our road now. The freight line has some pretty good steering, y'all. I guess it's on point with steering. But that sunset's just pretty, isn't it, Hunter? Yeah. Oh, I got off to the road because I'm a little wide. That sunset is pretty, y'all. Look at that sunset. Very pretty. I can hear that thing from back here. Up here. How close are you? Mm, I'm coming up. Fix and be at the second. Oh, okay. Uh, is this one ours? Yes, it is. Got a point here. I don't even see you coming down there. Uh, I think I see you. Let me look up my GPS tracker here. Oh, I see you now. Oh, I see the blue lights and the headlights now. Oh my god, you see the high beam on this thing? Hey, stop behind me. And come look at these headlights. I think I like some LEDs in this thing. Look at this. That's the headlight oh. 
That's Holy the headlight of the cow. frame letter. <laughs> That's the headlight of the frame letter, dude. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? We're taking that everywhere at night. Oh, we are. The steering's a little tight. I hope it's just because the cloud's back there. My question is, why do we buy this thing specifically? Guess it could be a tow pig. Could be a tow pig? Uh, mm -hmm. where does the plow go? Outside. Outside. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, see. I know what you're trying to do. Oh. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and figure out a place to park everything, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you for A3. Alright, yo, good morning, it is 640, we're rocking out the door, it is day three of us living here in Clayton County, and uh, it's a little dark, but we're gonna make it work, yep. we're actually gonna let this part fall out, and we're gonna actually show you how long it actually does take <laughs> Lights on force but Sunrise at 7 o'clock, so we should be good. Oh, so you sunrise, look how pretty I think it's. Okay, we're gonna turn wide for this time. So, y'all, it is a minute as. Uh, probably about. Alright, right now, Mark's a I hope that train's gone. It ain't gonna be gone by the time we get there. It might be. Hunter, are you starting to hate this train? Yeah. Okay. Alright, also, we are pulling up to the shop right now as we speak. It is 7.44. The normal hour takes to get here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about some stuff for the channel. We're going to continue to do FS22. We're not going to go straight to FS25 because that was our big mistake we made. We had a great season going on FS19 and we went straight to FS22 and uh, we didn't have that much good equipment. It was good equipment, but it wasn't good equipment. You know what I mean? I'm going to hop out and get get the uh, 80, 8520 hooked up. It felt crank. I, uh, I was already backing up before it even started. Oh lord, this thing turns. Oh, it's got the three point on it. That's what it is. Good to go. I'm um, seeing where the closest fuel station is. Okay. Uh, you want to go talk and talk to Jeff? Yeah, about fuel tanks. Yeah, we could. I'll go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to the front. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll just take their whole parking lot for right now, y'all. Not wait for her to walk up here wherever he's at. Where you at? I'm inside, at the front desk. Are you? Oh, you are. Yeah. I didn't realize. How's it going, Jeff? Alright, so let's see what we got. Miscellaneous. He's, he said they got a Thunder Creek equipment one, uh, FST995 for a 24,500. 24 for you? It's down me 29. Let's see if we got any, if there's any other ones we got in here. Do we want death on that too or no? Does the combine Does take death? Does it? I don't know. Oh, you're talking about this one? Yeah, that thing's pretty dope. Um. 
I mean, we can put the def on there to have it just in case. But we can't get it until later, so I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we can always just get one ordered and everything. Um. I don't we can think put there's... strobe lights on it if you want, or without. I don't, I don't think it needs it. Yeah, I don't, that's the only one we're gonna. That's definitely the one we're gonna go with. But I think we just all blacked we out. Need it. Definitely all blacked out. Cause it looks Do what? Cool. Definitely yeah. blacked out because it looks cool. Uh, I think we wait before we purchase that. We can go ahead and tell them to order and then pay them when they gets here. Yeah, sounds good. Or we could get a little 750 liter tank pulling back in one of our trucks. Yeah, but the combine and tractors gonna be using a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an 8520 and start making my way back to the house. We have a long, I have a long drive back. This baby goes 26 miles per hour. I gotta stop get fuel. I feel underneath the bridge. Uh, if not, you're gonna be taking the truck off. Of it. If not, you are taking that truck off road or finding a different route. But so let me go. I'm gonna go ahead over the GPS for you real quick. Got a fuel I mean, station up here on turn right on that first. Road. I mean, you're gonna make a ride on that road anyway. I'll just take the back way. So, if you don't, if you don't fit, yeah, I gotta have fuel. Just take the back way then. That back way ain't bad because you're actually. It might be an hour and twenty minutes for you to that, take that way. No, oh, maybe, but coming past me like that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead for the camera down and uh. Make a cruise. It is. We left the shop at 8:50, and uh, let's see what time we get back. So we'll catch you when we are pulling up to the uh, driveway. All right, y'all. It has been a long two hours. This is the speed we've been going the entire time, and it's been slow. Like, see, we'll go back to the mile per hour I was on. This is the mile per hour we've been going the entire way. I should have took the Freightliner and just figured something out. Like, I should have took the Freightliner and just drove it down there. Because we left the shop at 8.40. 9.40. 10.40. That's two hours. Two hours and ten minutes to hit the farm. And it looks like Hunter's here. How did Hunter beat me here? He stopped and got a fuel and he beat me here. Okay. How did you beat me here? Well, I, I was taking my time. I don't want to talk to you for the rest of the day. My door. Now we're going to the four ways also. I got a full four So this is gonna be like a little tape that I get, I guess. Ooh, that's a slide on, I don't know that. We might end up swapping the trailer hitch on here to a three point, y'all. A three point is much better, but they just didn't have that in stock. Probably this thing is a big planter. Holy man. Like right there looks good. There we go. We'll go park this thing inside the uh, little area. Here we go. How about him parking? I already parked. He's got a certain way apparently on. Okay, nice. back that one straight up. Um. Oh, 
I was gonna give him a tour real quick of what we got going on. Oh, okay. So right here, y'all, we have just a planter because this shed is a lot smaller than I thought, and I didn't think I was gonna put it in here. It just, it's what's got put in here. Um, it's got some shelves in there we'll probably end up using later on. Now the shed behind it, we put the tipper in because it's actually a perfect spot. It fits in there just fine. Now when we start getting bigger, we might have to like, do a few things. Over here we have the Batwing, the Baylor, the Tedder, the Winrow, and the uh, Gravity Wagon. Gravity here, Wagon should win in here. It fits over there just fine, and there's two bays. Oh. There's a bay empty still. Okay. And here, y'all, we got the combine, both header trailers, both the both headers, and we have the plow just chilling out there. Um, we use all the buildings. We have one just for tractors, and we got our main shop over there, which is actually nice. It's nice to have our little personal shop, y'all. We do kind of buy some toys. So y'all, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, you got the golly, your truck's dirty. I'm gonna go and open the iPad up here, y'all, and we're gonna see what we're working with for the next episode. Um, so, uh, so it's harvest season at the moment for barley and oats and sorghum. Okay, so let's see what we got. Alright, so we're over here. Let's see if anything is ready to harvest. See if I'm gonna be cracking down any harvest. Looks like everything's gotta grow still. It doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like it changed though. Why isn't it changing? Okay, y'all, so we're actually gonna do this. So we're gonna turn our iPad on tracking mode. And it's gonna track and show us where everything's at. We just go to here. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got. So this is our first field, which might be getting plowed. No, it's, it's soil beans. Wow, that's perfect. So it's growing. It's got a little bit of yield bonus here and there. Uh, this is one of our fields. It's just grass. Hey, Hunter, we do have a grass, just like a grass field sitting here. That's good. We might end up plowing and just put grass somewhere else. Um, did it? Let's actually see something here, y'all. Because I don't know if this is supposed to be back here with it. It is, though. Because part of that stuff. Hmm. Uh, I guess we own 66 y'all 66 is a big field, but it's got corn and it's growing uh, We got 51 here, which is soybeans. So we have corn and soybeans so far We have two fields. Oh Soybeans are ready to harvest Huh Okay, but what are these? Okay, so there's some, so we got two fields of soybeans, so 51 and 52 are soybeans. Uh, what's that one right there? 66 is, um, uh, corn. It looks like we got another corn field. So we have two corn fields, two soybeans. Yep, corn. Oh, and you won't believe what the third field is. 50. You want to guess what 50 is? Grass. No, soybeans. Oh, wow. We're going to be making some profit. And can you check what the calendar is for soybeans? Because one field ready to harvest. And that's 51, which is actually a pretty big field. I don't know how long it, it is. It starts in August. Though, About 230, 2000. No, 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 the calendar. Check like the oh. when it's ready to harvest. And it our last will be field, ready to harvest in in between September and November. Okay, so it's early. Um, 48 is just another grass field. Okay. So that field that we, when we first pull into the right is just grass. So we have a corn field, a corn field, soybean, 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 and two grass fields. 
Yeah, that's all, all right. the fields we own. Hey, that's pretty good. We got our work cut out for us. Mm -hmm. Um, let me go ahead and check the calendar myself, and let me turn that thing off on the iPad here. Uh, and I said, uh, 51 was ready to harvest, correct? Yes, 51 is the one that's ready to harvest. Um, what is that? Okay. So how much is soybeans going for? Wow, they're going pretty high, and they're in climbing still. Um... Uh, they're not at their highest. Hunter, I think what we do is if we, if we don't have to sell them, we don't sell them yet. Because they're yeah. at their lowest right now. We wait until j a whole year to sell them, we can make more money. But if we have to, we can sell a load or two here and there. Yeah. For corn, corn, we can sell it in January if we can harvest it by then. But, I don't know if we can harvest by January. Let me check the, uh. This thing, corn. Yeah, we can harvest by January. It looks like we can mm -hmm. we can start in October, but our crops might be ready at either in October, end of October, the beginning of November, and then December we're gonna have some snow. Mm okay. Well, we got our work cut out for us, y'all, and we're actually gonna take take the rest of the day work on the second gen. See if we can get any work done to that thing, because we ain't starting to harvest today. We ain't, we ain't ready for it. We'll just wait until tomorrow. It's the best thing to do. Um, so we're gonna go let all the GoPro charge, get them all fired up and everything, and uh... Hunter, you ready to work on a second gen? Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Well, y'all, Hunter, you're gonna do the outro for this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. You, you, you're, you're doing the outro. I, 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 Come on, let's do it. Come on. And hey, action. God. Hang on. Come on, in action. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Later, y'all. Later.